Good morning, everyone. Actually, I am Leonard Dias, the principal of Saint Paul's English High School Morning Shift. Saint Paul's School is one of a very old pioneer school of dear, with over 81 years of service, going back to 1941, from its humble abode in Kalapul and moving its way to the present campus. Over the years, we have started from a small number, and now to a School which actually caters to the needs of over five thousand students. Hello, everyone. I am Mrs. Tarina Johnson, the coordinator of the lower secondary section. I have been serving this esteemed institution, St. Paul's English High School, for the past twenty-four years. St Paul's is a unique place where students from diverse backgrounds are given an opportunity to expand their horizons in an enriched learning environment. We at St Paul's firmly believe in letting the options be open for every child to acquire skills according to their abilities. We try to innovate methods to make learning more fun, challenging and purposeful. Our aim is to mold the overall personality of our students to make them better human beings as well as responsible citizens best wishes and blessings to you all i am mrs pushparani celia manatunga and i am working uh, in st paul since uh, 2001 2001 april 1st i came here uh, and since then i am teaching english language for cambridge section Now my uh, students are now married and they are working in uh, other countries, various other countries. <laughs> One student who is Habibullah Masood, he has joined the judiciary system in UK. He is a lawyer in there, and I am very proud of that. And there are so many students who are working in very much prestige uh, places. So I feel very proud to work here in Saint Paul's. And I enjoyed so many extra activities. Like uh, we had so many, many types of uh, plays and dramas. At the same time, uh, there were cont competitions of elocution and speech competitions annual, uh, and we were able to do them very successfully. Uh, and I still feel this is my twenty-second year in Saint Paul's, and I'm very happy to work here. And I expect to work here till I. <laughs> Uh, complete my 25 years of silver jubilee. Thank you. Saint Paul's, as I said, is based on something that is very dear to me. I believe in one thing that students should be given opportunities, and the more opportunities you give them, they will come to the fore. The purpose of every child in the school basically is to find their innate talents. their inner self so that when they portray themselves they are not copying others their genuine thoughts and ideas are coming out one of the things that we started recently for the last 8 years we are having what is known as the paul man and the paul man is an abbreviation to model united nations under the heading of under the banner of st paul's model united nations has become a very popular thing in schools and universities of karachi and i am proud to say that our students have excelled in this forum and have made their mark even to the extent of being selected to represent pakistan and this was all due to the efforts of our cambridge section and especially ms pushpa rani manatunga very capable and a one who's die hard and behind the her students another big laurel is in the area of sports you as you know pakistan is well known for cricket and recently over the last few years we had say uh, mirza saad beg he as a star been selected to be the captain of the pakistan under 19 team i can assure you that he has started from a humble thing starting from class 5 being selected in the school team and with better boys than himself but gradually worked his way up and his passion and his zeal has brought it in such a way that 
He has excelled in all in inter school tournaments, literally, when he has five inter school tournaments of very high cadre. So, I can, we are proud of our students for taking part in every forum. We have the Media Graphic Society, we have the Literary Society, and other things where we keep asking the children if you have a talent which is not being reflected in the school culture, let us know because we will always give you an opportunity to participate because it is true participation that you actually find yourself. Hello everybody, my name is Roman Rodriguez and I am the Deputy Principal of St. Paul's English High School. I joined St. Paul's English High School in the year 2019 and I oversee the Cambridge section over here. The Cambridge section that we have over here, uh, it starts from grade 6 and uh, it is uh, basically the O level up to grade 11. Here in the Cambridge section, uh, we do have uh, various societies, like the Literary Society is one of them, which organizes the debate, elocution, declamation contest, etc. The students take part in the months, the mock United Nation or the model United Nation as it is known, and they have won various competitions. They have also represented not only uh, in the intra and inter school level, but also in national and international level. We also do have another society by the name of the St. Paul's Media Graphic Society which covers all the events and the photography. Uh, we also have a Facebook page over there which is all controlled by the Media Graphic Society. Recently we did have a cultural day and it covered up uh, the entire Pakistan, the five provinces that we do have, Kilkit, Pakistan, Punjab, Pakistan, Sindh uh, and KP. So this is all about our societies and uh, academics and uh, I guess that's all, right? Have a nice time. Cheers. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Augustine and uh, it's a really privilege to come before you and say something about uh, my alma mater, my St. Paul's. Basically, I have joined St. Paul's in 2004 and uh, since then it has been a very fruitful and very very progressive time i've spent over here with the passage of time we have learned lots and lots of things with the passage of time we have come across many students some of the students had taught us lots and lots of things and the the school itself the environment over here it gave not only to the students but also a good opportunity for the teachers to excel both in professional as well as in uh, in the personal life so the uh, st paul's basically is not only an institution it gives the holistic approach it gives it develops the holistic personality of the students the students over here they they, they come they, they come over here from diverse backgrounds but over here they are treated as one unit so it is uh, it's an uh, it's it's an opportunity to avail so my my lots of regards to everyone who is uh, part of or who has been the part of this institution that uh, they they are going to they are the blessed one and they are going to learn a lot and lot from there hello my name is mrs anika kosar and i am a primary teacher i am teaching class 5 in 2009, I joined St. Paul's. This is my 13th year. I'm teaching English, Math, Science and Social Studies. When I joined, Father Martis was the principal. And when I joined St. Paul's, I was very scared to be in such a big institute and in a reputed institute. But when I joined, the principal, the coordinators and my co-teachers, they really helped me, helped me with my teaching and I've learned a lot from my senior teachers. Now I believe in myself and as a very confident person, I'm always there and I take, take up for, for my students also. And I love teaching. Uh, before the, this, I was not aware of how good and noble profession is this, but St. Paul's make me a very confident and a good teacher. And I hope that I will continue working here and I will try my level best to improve all the students I am going to teach in the future also. And I pray 
and i hope that this institutes bring lot of change and bring new beginnings for the others who will join this place hello everyone my name is shahid barki i have been teaching maths physics and computer science in st paul english high school in cambridge section for the last 10 years i have spent a great time in st paul english high school st paul is just like a second home for me and i am very happy working in this great institution the reason behind this success is st paul gives a full freedom to everyone to utilize his or her expertise i am the head of computer science society and st paul media graphic society and my co head is ms asara salman who has been a great help for me in all the events in both the society the major work of computer science society is to be a part of various exhibition and competition both internal and external and we have been very successful in all these events st paul media graphic society is the front line society the job of media graphic society is to capture the photos and videos of the entire school any event happening inside and post them on their official site thank you very much my name is sir philip and i am here from last 24 this is my 25th year i am very very happy that these boys have given this opportunity to speak regarding the school now this 25 years of mine i have been going to many students some have become um in the army they have joined the army some have joined the navy some have joined the air force that's a great honor for our school and some of our cricketers who are playing for pakistan uh, junior league i am so happy to watch my students they are doing so so good Greetings, everyone. Uh, this is me, Pearl Pereira, from Saint Paul's English High School. I am working here as a coordinator. It has been here. My experience here at Saint Paul's has been here since the past 15 years. It has been a very good teaching experience here. I can tell you, Saint Paul's has treated me like one of their most precious family member, and I'm very happy and glad to be a part of it. I feel as if I am blessed with such wonderful people around me. It can even be uh, I'm not only giving credit to our dear principal, but I say him also. I give credit to our dear principal, uh, my students, my teachers, and even the general staff. They are all like my family. My name is Parshottam. मैं यहाँ से 1983 से जॉब कर रहा हूँ और बड़े बड़े ऑफिसर्स के साथ मैंने काम किया जैसे सबसे पहले 1983 में मैं आया तो फादर जोजफ़ पॉल प्रिंसिपल साहब फिर फादर मैक्स फिर फादर टॉनी मार्टस फिर सिस्टर सिस्टर जीता फिर सर एंजलो बॉजिस सर लैनी सर लैनी तो हमारा अभी प्रेजेंट प्रिंसिपल साहब है सर रोमन इन सबों के साथ काम किया बहुत अच्छा लगा बहुत हमारा स्कूल बहुत बेहतर है और यहाँ काम करके बहुत अच्छा लगता है इंसान को कि यहाँ सारी एक फैमिली टाइप से लोग रहते हैं और बड़े अच्छे वक्त हमारी मैनेजमेंट हमारे यहाँ के स्कूल के बच्चे और बच्चे भी बहुत अच्छे हैं इतने ग्रेट फुल बच्चे हैं हमारे यहाँ के कि मेरी भी बड़ी इज्जत करते हैं इतना इज्जत करते हैं कि बस मैं आपको क्या बताऊँ बहुत अच्छे हमारे स्कूल में बहुत अच्छा है हमारा स्कूल और ये सैन पॉल हमारी ज़िंदगी है हमारी लाइफ है सब कुछ ही हमारा है डेट सॉल ये हमारा सब कुछ है और ये है हमारा सैन पॉल थैंक यू बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया थैंक यू हेलो दिस इज़ उम्मे हफ्सा आई एम असिस्टेंट टू द इन चार्ज ऑफ आर कैमरेज सेक्शन सर रोमन रॉड्रिक्स आई एम ऑल्सो द सब्जेक्ट कोऑर्डिनेटर्स टू द सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ फिजिक्स एडिशनल मैथमेटिक्स एंड मैथमेटिक्स माय टीचिंग सब्जेक्ट्स आर फिजिक्स एंड एडिशनल मैथमेटिक्स एंड आई एम टीचिंग द लेवल्स ऑफ नाइन्थ टेंथ एंड एलेवेंथ माई 
<clears throat> the number of years of experience in the CB schools have uh, now altogether to, had come up to 17 years. But to be honest, I have uh, almost taught 15 years to only girls. And uh, coming to St. Paul's in the year 2020 and teaching boys was a very good experience. To be very honest, I really enjoyed teaching boys and uh, I felt that it is more enriched learning, teaching and also living. I'm living my teaching now and uh, I'm enjoying it uh, to, uh, to an extent that I believe that the St. Paul's learners are true gems. I have a diversity of students and right now I believe that the essence of a womanhood is motherhood. And I'm enjoying that motherhood in St. Paul's English High School. And uh, to believe uh, right now I have store of episodes of my teachings uh, already that I would cherish in my future after as a teacher, inshallah. Thank you. Greetings from St. Paul's. I am Mrs. Bertha Fernandez and I am a primary teacher teaching here since the last 49 years. It gives me great pleasure to speak about our school, St. Paul's English High School. One thing about St. Paul that we have unique is a staff club where the teachers it is their choice to become a member. When we become a member of this club, twice a year we meet the families at picnics and at Christmas time. This way we get to meet the spouses, the kids and we, by doing this we care for one another. We are more like a family in St. Paul's. I like to think that a school is actually a where they build friendships. Not just friendship for reason, friendship for season, but friendships for lifetime. And that happens when any child enters any school, he literally spends almost 10 years in a school. That bonding that they have among their classmates lasts forever. And why I say that? Because recently, we just a few days back, we've had a wonderful cultural day, which was actually given wide publicity in the media. And the chief guest was the chief minister of the province of Sindh, Sayyid Murad Ali Shah, which happens to be my classmate. And he said yes at one call, just when I requested him to be the chief guest. That shows the bonding that children have with, through schooling. And it is important that we understand this. I know that the teachers of, this, of the school work very, very hard. And I mean that even that doesn't only reflect the teaching, but also the support staff and the office staff and everyone. We work as a team. No one is bigger than the other. And when you take everyone along, you get better results. I am proud of my students. I am proud of my teachers. I am proud of my support staff and office staff. Good morning. My name is Terence Anthony. And uh, I've been teaching in St. Paul's since 1993. The subjects I teach are physics and maths to the metric section. Experience at St. Paul's has been a real memorable one. Uh, we've had hard times, we've had very good times and I, I, I am very sure, pretty sure that this is the best time of St. Paul's ever. It was never the best as it is now and it, it will never be. In the presence of Sir, Sir Lenny Dice, who is also my mentor, who is leading the school to great heights. We are doing well academically as well as in sports, in uh, Paul Mann, and we are excelling day by day in all walks of life. St. Paul's to me is of course a second home, no doubt. And uh, we've never thought of St. Paul's as, uh, as a place of work. It's always been an experience of being at home. So there is uh, all, all, all 
good wishes to St. Paul's and uh, the students. They are very hardworking students and teachers as well. Very cooperating teachers. And, uh, and also I must give credit to the students. I have seen students of other schools who are not as cooperative as our students are. So all, all credit to them. Uh, I am also thinking to the discipline of St. Paul's and uh, of course we are not perfect but we are trying our level best to give our best with the cooperation of the students and uh, Seleni has always been cooperative in all, in all fields of the school whether it's studies, sports, so all thanks to him and a very best luck, good luck to St. Paul's. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Muhammad Yusuf and I'm a teacher here uh, at St. Paul's for the last uh, almost four, four years. And I've been teaching here uh, in uh, Samyad and Lina. The unique thing about this school is uh, this usually means we, we teach everywhere in all schools. Uh, but jo mujhe par ek, uh, and more Nayapsi cheese other I go here is school ka mahal. Go is the Hasa is the Pakistan jo hai, uh, wo ek hai. Or sef ek rang ke pulo ka nahi, balke muftalif exam ke pulo ka ek gudasta hai. Or ya sef ek omiyat ek om nahi rehti. Yaha muftalif omo ke muftalif lo, muftalif sakafat ke saath, rang o nasl ke saath, taze rivayat or tamadun ke saath rehti. तो ऐसे ही ये स्कूल है जहां आपको مختلف قسم के مذاہب से लोग मिलते हैं स्टूडेंट्स और जो इस مرتبہ हमारे यहां करीब हुई थी 6 सितंबर की तो एक बहुत ही अनमोल किस्म का जो नमूना पेश किया गया वो ये था कि बहुत अच्छा लगा ऐसे कि जैसे सारे मतलब जो पाकिस्तानी होने का जो जज्बा है वो उसे नजर आया के तमाम मजाहिब के बच्चे टीचर्स ने मिलकर जिस तरह यहां पर यौम ए दिफा की तकरीब का इनका किया और जिस जोशो जज्बे के साथ किया वो धीधनी था तो उसको देखकर ये नजर आया कि पाकिस्तान का जो असल मकसद है ये असल में जिस तरह बनाया गया था कि यहां अक्सरियत के साथ अखलियत भी जो है वो सुकून से रह सके और इस मुल्क को अपना ही मुल्क माना तो उसका अमली नमूना बेहतरीन किस्म का मैंने जो है वो इस स्कूल में देखा है और दूसरी जगह ये देखने को नहीं मिला सिर्फ यहां से हमें इत्तेहाद यानी तमाम पाकिस्तानियों के इत्तेहाद का सबक मिलता है और बेहतरीन नमूना इस मुल्क में इस स्कूल में मैंने देखा तो उम्मीद करता हूं कि यही इत्तेहाद जो है पाकिस्तानियों का वो हमें पूरे मुल्क में नजर आए शुक्रिया I am Gloria Benedict. I joined St. Paul's in, on 1st of May 1979. Um, it has been a very good sailing. As I was teaching the Cambridge when I came, I was appointed there and later on I got myself transferred to the metric section. I have been teaching English, Maths and Science. But lately, past many years, I am teaching only English to 6 and 8. It has been a very good sailing, very smooth sailing and uh, it was a additional knowledge for us and for me in particular. As I learned in course of my teaching, I learned a lot. I learned a lot regarding English, regarding in every walk of life. In every walk of life, it has been a very good school as, as, as my study, studying age period. I was a student while I was teaching. I did all my trainings, all the three, CT, B, Ed and M, Ed, staying in the school and uh, it has been very profitable. Boys in the school have been very cooperative. Teachers, the entire staff, starting from the gate till the 
till the principal's office that's it i think thank you hi uh, assalam alaikum my name is shahzeh yusuf and i have been uh, a teacher in st pauls for the last uh, 27 years in the afternoon shift and almost 25 years in the morning shift uh, i have done my matriculation from trinity methodist after that i did my bsc from st joseph's college uh, then i went for bed from hamdard college for which i received a gold medal uh, then i did my mat and currently i am enrolled in ms education program where and i am trying uh, god willingly i will try and do my phd in education uh, teaching experience is almost of 27 years in the afternoon but in the morning shift it is unofficially 25 years because i substituted for 2 years for miss kesar and then uh, officially it is 23 years right now uh, i have been a science coordinator for over 15 years in both the shifts and uh, a section coordinator for almost 3 years for 6 to 8 in cambridge section uh, other than that I have been teaching subjects like science, biology, chemistry, uh, Islamia, and Urdu. And I think Urdu was the most difficult among all the teaching subjects. As far as my experience in Saint Paul's is concerned, I think Saint Paul's has a history, uh, a glorious history of over 75 years. When I joined. Uh, at that time, I was not a trained teacher. I did my B.Ed in 2002, and I joined in 95. Uh, I learned a lot from senior teachers like Mrs. Fikri, Mrs. Aslam, Miss Sumera, uh, Miss Agnes Fazal, and uh, Sir Lenny, Mr. Leonard Dice. I think all these teachers have a different level of dedication, which we miss now uh, in our uh, teaching. and uh, i think uh, st pauls has a long way to go i wish all the best to st pauls for its prosperity for uh, uh, its success and i think st pauls has a name not only in pakistan but in the world and uh, i am sure that our students uh, are always going to make us proud thank you hello My name is Amreen Fazal and I am a part of St Paul from last 13 years. I have done MSc in chemistry and my teaching subjects are chemistry, biology and maths and I am also a science coordinator over here in St Paul's. Our school has a good working environment where all the teachers work together for the benefits of the student. We have a very good well equipped lab where we are teaching our student new techniques and skills. a basic motive is to provide creative and imaginative environment for the students so that they learn a lot and this will be good for the future i hope that i will further continue my teaching in st pauls only thank you good morning i am mrs agnes fazal and i have been teaching in this institution for the last 48 years my experience has been a wonderful one why because when i joined the senior teachers welcomed me and they helped me out whenever i needed them number 2 the principals that i have worked under father paul bishop max uh father tony martus and lenard dias all these have been very supportive and have encouraged us to enhance our quality of teaching by going for different courses and training here st paul's is different from other schools for the reason that the administration is very cooperative the teachers are very cooperative and the students are keen to learn Moreover my allegiance to St Paul's English High School is due to my mother who was one of the first four teachers of St Paul's English High School and I would like to pay tribute to her through this message
Hello students. The current students of the same course and the ex colleagues. Uh, my name is Shah Sultan. My experience regarding the same course is very good. The time when I joined, I don't have that much experience. But here, the senior teachers and the staff definitely encouraged me, helped me out to learn a lot. As far as the teaching is concerned, and the same thing, this experience I passed to you people. As a Paulian, to those who have actually passed out from here, I wish them for their good career. And those who are currently studying in this school, they should focus and emphasize on their target and goals, what they want to achieve. One thing is very clear, whatever you want to do in any field, hard work and dedication should be there. Thank you. Pope Francis has always portrayed education as a language of the mind, a language of the heart and a language of the hands. It's important that we include all this, it becomes inclusive. And once we make education inclusive, we are giving the tools to children to actually find themselves. I feel like the primary section here is actually is actually the base which I help my teachers to form the base in our students. We work with the syllabus along with the four curricular activities in order to not only instill education but also to instill values in our students. The first and foremost, I did, I give more importance to respect that my students and on, I would say our students should give respect to everyone. As a teacher, I have learned that there are many ups and down days, but life carries on. To upgrade myself, I make sure that I watch clips on education or attend classes where I can keep in touch with the new method and technology. Today's children, they have more of <coughs> knowledge than the teacher themselves. So to keep in line with them, I make sure that I do this. Thank you. Watching my most of my students, I get disheartened when they do not have respect for themselves. First thing we what we have what we learn is res respecting ourselves. Once we respect ourselves, I think we will respect everyone. So first thing we should respect ourselves, and then automatically you will respect your parents, your teachers, your elders, your friends, and this wonderful world which God had God has given us. There are some few words which I would like to uh, express to my students. God is good, my loving parents are good, my teachers are good, and we naughty students are good all the time. And all the time, God is good, my loving parents are good, my teachers are good, and we naughty students are good. May God bless us and bring peace and love in our country, bring peace and love in our family, and bring peace and love amongst ourselves and bring peace and love in this wonderful world which is required which is required as the days are passing you know we are going through a very bad days how we can change when we are educated how we can change when we respect one another then it will change it will change it will change we have to learn to respect our elders we have to respect, learn to respect our parents, first is parents, respect our teachers, respect our books, re respect our class. A class is a place, four corners, which I, where I'm concerned, I'm just a small person to speak like this, but it's a very holy place where we all study and graduate, we become something. So please work hard all my students, I request you, work hard, give a good name to yourself, good 
good name to your parents they are struggling they are struggling in this terrible time which we are going through please i request you respect your parents respect the almighty respect your your elders respect your teachers respect your friends and first of all respect yourself once you learn all this i think by the grace of god god will help you and you will become one of the best in this wonderful world i wish all my students a bright future very bright future not only bright bright future and they become the prime minister they become the chief minister they become the president they become a very big shot in the army navy air force i wish all of you all the best god bless st paul english high school god bless all the students not only from st paul i give this advice that it should be for all the schools to respect their parents respect themselves respect your teachers respect your elders and respect your country god bless you all thank you